performance will become your score also. So be more active and see, just to do more, to do more. And today, our topic will be updates to the fossil fuel. Please turn to the page 99 to and 100. Today, you can open your book. We. Okay, so please look at the introduction on the page 100. Everybody found it? If you have it, please. If you finish finding the page, please look at me. Page 100. Okay. Today we're going to talk about addicted to fossil fuel. And turn to page your textbook also as a text. Despite modern societies heavily dependent on fossil fuels for energy, most people are aware that the supply of these fuels is finite. Okay, can any anyone explain the word finite? Because I'm finite, and you can get a point. Finite. Anyone? Okay. Can you explain it in English? English. <laughs> Energy and want to substitute for the fossil fuel nowadays. So let's go on next teacher, Jonathan. Hello everyone, I'm Yo Chikai. So next, what we are going to do is to introduce you the power of solar. And please look at your book because we want people to read the paragraph for us. So which team? want to read for us. Anyone volunteer? Okay, so team four, please read the paragraph one, line 10 to nine, uh, 18. What is this paragraph mainly about? Please raise your hand. She's finished reading. So anyone who knows what is the main idea of this paragraph, you can raise your hand and answer the questions. Anyone? Okay. Um, this paragraph is mainly about there are um, just uh, he mentioned the uh, uh, the largest solar solar power station is located in Germ Germany and she uh, and it also mentioned that um, the difference between fossil fuels powering and solar power is solar power no emissions. Okay, that is right. So it mainly talks about the basic introduction of solar power, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> you can be more active in the class. That would be a great uh, help. Okay, so the, the first paragraph is mainly talking about the introduction of the solar power and also the largest power where it's come from and the biggest the station where it is. So let's go on the next paragraph. Anyone want to read for us? Oh, uh, I count to three because you do it. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> paragraph about. Uh, no one knows. Oh, someone knows. You can raise your hand. And if you have an answer, you have a speak in the class, please try to speak it out. You? Solar power, so on the farm and the solar power need, it can provide enough electricity to service. It's expensive and loud. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, you Question five. I'll give her a big hand, please. Well, actually, it's talking about this disadvantage of the solar power. For example, 
Like the cloudy days, you cannot use the panel to collect the sun out solar. And also, there's a massive uh, energy problem to be stored or something like that. That is the that is the disadvantage of the solar. So next, we are going to next paragraph. Anyone want to read it for us? Oh, she's just person, sorry. Like the same idea. So anyone want to read the next paragraph? Advocates of solar space stations say this technology would require a lot of money initially, but eventually it could provide continuous clean energy that would be cheaper than other fuels. Also, unlike other energy sources, solar power from space will last as long as the sun shines and will be able to guarantee everyone on Earth all the energy they need. Okay, let's give her a big hand. So, what is these two paragraphs talking about? Anyone knows? No one? No one? Who haven't answered the questions, please raise your hand. Haven't answered the questions? Who want to answer? Some scientists think that building a, a solar power station in space is better than on the roofs. Well, that's a good try. Okay, so this is mainly what is the solar. So I'll give you uh, some a summary of this solar article. So let's look at here. You don't have to look at your book anymore. Here, first advantage of solar power is it is natural because you don't have to use anything like carbon or any coals or something like gas, gasoline, and fossil fuels. You only use the power from the sun. And second, it produces no emissions because you collect the energy from the sun. And then, you produce no emissions into the air and that will pollute uh, pollute our environment, and but the solar have a very big problem. That is its disadvantage. Let's go on to the next page. Page. First of all, it cannot used during the cloudy day. We all know that the cloudy will uh, let the sun be disappeared from our sight. So that's why the paragraph talking about the solution is to build a station in the space, right? All the places didn't have much rain, then we can build the solar station. Next one is expensive solar panels. We all know that the technology is not advanced enough yet, so the panels is still expensive. But maybe someday in the future, we can have a better solution for the solar energies. And the next is an advantage is have problem of storing energy. Solar power is hard to be stored like other energy, like electricity, it is very hard to be stored. Go on to the next one. The lost energy during the process of conversion. You know that when the sun converts it itself into the electricity, it has a lot of problems, and it may lost a lot of energy during the process. So, that's one. Enable people to generate their own energy where they live. So, so we have some solutions for the solar. I have already told you, build the solar collecting station at desert or places done of much rain, like the article said, right? Okay, right, thank you. And build a station space where you can dis direct collecting the sun energy. So this is mainly talking about the solar, so any problem in this article? I have already said problem. Go on, back. So any problem of solar energy? No problem? Then I will explain the word advocate here, right? So anyone know what is the word advocate? This is no, no, just a point, point question, it's not for the food question. Anyone know what is advocate? <laughs> because I, I believe everybody have 
memorized out of the ten in the word seven thousand. Anyone else? Advocate? Here. Oh, yes. Advocate of source based teachings. Advocates have another meaning. Like he says, here is like supporters. But other, the so other side we all say, like, you, or you give something uh, support, then we call it advocate. So, no more problem? Any problem here? No? Then we are going on to introduce you the next energy, wind. We are welcome the teacher, Helen. Thank you. 